It is time that we exercise our knowledge. In this circuit, with a resistor and inductor and a capacitor, we are applying a sinusoidal voltage V of t given as a function of time, as a sinusoidal function of time down here. It has an RMS value of 50 volts, an angular frequency omega of 2000 radians per second, and a phase shift of negative 90 degrees. The question is, what is the total current IT entering the circuit? Let's see, we're given three elements, 5 ohm resistor, 20 millihenries inductor, and 16 and 2 thirds of a microfarad capacitor. The first thing I will do is, as recommended, to write every current and every voltage as a phasor. Well, the phasor that represents this voltage has this value. RMS value of the voltage, 50, and the phase shift, negative 90 degrees. And that is the phasor that represents that voltage. Second step, represent every element by their impedance. 5 ohms remains 5 ohms resistor. 20 millihenries as an impedance becomes J omega L. L is 20 millihenries, but who is omega? Omega is given by the source 2000 radians per second. 2000 radians per second multiplied by L, 0 0.02. That impedance is J 40 ohms. One down. What is the impedance of the capacitor? Well, the impedance of the capacitor is negative J 1 over omega C. Omega is 2000. It's given by the voltage source. Negative J, 1 over 2000. That multiplies the capacitance of 16 and 2 thirds microfarads. That is 10 to the minus 6. I can write 10 to the 6 on the numerator. If that impedance is negative J, 30 ohms. I put in series those two impedances and we get plus J40 minus J30, that is plus J10. That is the impedance of all this branch, plus J10. Now we put that in parallel with 5 ohms to find the total impedance seen by the source V. So we can use ohms low to find the current voltage divided by the total impedance, that is 5 ohms in parallel with J10. The total impedance or equivalent impedance a complex number will be the inverse of the sum of the inverses of 5 and J10. Or if we can use some other formulas that we remember from second year, we say that is just 5 times J10, that is J50 divided by the sum of 5 plus J10. And we use our calculator for that. 5 inverse parenthesis 0 space 10 inverse addition inverse that is the equivalent impedance seen by the source 4 plus j2 to find the total current it as a phasor that is just this voltage 50 with negative 90 degrees divided by that impedance 4 2 i enter the voltage source parenthesis 50 alpha red 6 for the angle sign negative 90 degrees, enter, swap, divide, that is the current, but in rectangular form. I do not care for currents in rectangular form. In polar form, that current is 11.18, the RMS value of the current, and a phase shift of negative 116.6 degrees. We can write that current as a function of time, which is what the exercise is all about. Just going from the phasor domain to the time domain, the RMS value is 11.18. Multiply that, 11.18 times root 2, you get the peak value of that current. It is a sign, because the voltage was a sign, the frequency is 2000, same as the one in the voltage, and the phase shift is negative 116.6. Pi divided 180 so that everything is in radians, and these are the amps. And that is the answer to this exercise. Thank you very much.